Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dez from NetCodeSource.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get your team prepared on that. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to talk to everybody, find out what spots everybody likes to play at and on CT side and get that situated first. Alright, that's first things first. Um, try to talk it out, get everybody in a spot that they're comfortable with. And then just talk about the map for a bit and talk about how you're gonna play your spot so on CT side so that everybody is kind of aware of what to do and how to take control and, and, and what they're gonna do and react and how they're gonna play off each other. So that's the very first thing that you wanna do is just get your CT side uh, spot situated and just talk about it. Just spend you know anywhere from 10 to 20 to 30 minutes just talking about how you wanna play it and what your thoughts are and you know how you play your spots so that everybody knows what to do and how to react to each other um, for instance if you're an arch player you could talk about how you like to fall back into the arches and kind of let them wrap and watch the spawn or you could say that you like to go towards moto and let them have the spawn that's really important so that the B guys know that spawns are going to be um, you know a little bit easier for the terrorists to take and that's what you're giving up you're letting the terrorists get spawned in order to have a, a better porch and hall set up because this guy if he falls back to moto can help porch and halls so that's just one example and i'm going to use inferno for all the examples because it translates to every single map so that's first things first just talk about your ct side all right and what you want to do then on your t side you want to talk talk about a default all right and for the first couple days all you're going to want to do is just do a default and scrim a bunch of times and do a default and make sure everybody's comfortable just getting control of the map so that's what you're going to want to do on t side so um in the premium section there's going to be a video of, of an inferno default map control and you're going to want to just constantly practice doing that okay and then off of that you're going to want two strats okay that's it or three strats but first you're gonna have to do a default, okay? Now, you need to get to the point where you could take apartment control without dying and take banana control without dying. And once you get to that point, then you could pretty much run strats. But without doing that, you're never gonna be able to run any strats. So that's the first thing, is getting com everybody comfortable with running the default and everybody comfortable with their CT side setup. Now, what I would do is, I would just scrim the map doing a default, okay? For the first like one or two scrims on T, and on CT side, just scrim the map. Because CT side, it's generally just getting everybody comfortable with each other chemistry wise, okay? You don't really need to have any strats there, right? So you just need to get everybody comfortable with their selves and with their teammates chemistry wise, right? And knowing what to do and how to react. Some people are probably gonna be playing new spots, depending on how long you've been a team. So. That's what you want to do first. Just scrim CT side. Don't really worry about that so much. Just kind of hope that comes together. Don't really do anything crazy or fancy. You just have people hold their spots and react and build chemistry with each other. Then on T side, you just want to do a def default. Get everybody comfortable with doing a default and just one or two scrims. And it doesn't matter if you lose a bunch of rounds. You know, it doesn't matter if you don't have many smokes or flashes of a game or a game plan or whatever, right? Then what you're going to want to do is after a couple scrims, maybe just take the first day just to do that. Let everybody kind of feel their spots out on T, understand how to take up map control. Then after that, you're going to want to start implementing some strats, okay? Because generally speaking, if you're playing, um, you know, a good team, the strats, you know, the strats that you're going to run aren't necessarily going to work. Or, or a default, excuse me, a default's not always just necessarily going to work. So. What, what I'm going to want you to do is, and what you're going to want to do is, so run that default, even if you're losing a lot of rounds as T, it doesn't matter. You're generally not going to have any strats and do that for like the first day. Then once you're comfortable taking that map control, then you can move into the strats. Okay. It's too overwhelming and it's not necessary and it's probably not going to work very well if you just try running strats right away without being able to take map control. Once you're able to take map control, that's when you can start doing strats. So after you learn how to do the default, and then day two and day three, um, just go over two strats and that's it. Just two strats, maybe three strats and that's it. And run them constantly and just, just constantly do them, okay? So for instance, on Inferno, 
you're gonna have map control, then you're gonna have three strats. You're gonna have a banana take, then you're gonna have a wrap strat, and then you're gonna have an A take. Or you could have, you know, different strats too. You could have a split strat where you split arches and banana, or you could have a heavy hulls take, or you could have a heavy porch take on an A take. There's a bunch of different strats that you could do. You know, all in all, there might be like six or seven. But what I want you to do is, I want you to just focus on like three of them. And just be really, really good at three different strats out of your default. Because really, there's only like seven gun rounds. So if you have a pistol round, you know, you win the pistol. Then you have um, fourth round gun round, which should be just like a good strat that you could do. Then you're going to have, you know, maybe four to, four to five other gun rounds after that, right? As a T. So just really just have three good strats that you can run and then have one strat where you could run on a low buy. So on Inferno, for instance, if you have like a 3-7, that's just gonna be walking up the raft with three people, one watching ports, one watching halts, or something like that, okay? A good low buy strat where all you have is AK armor or gorilla armor, okay? So that's the best way to get your team prepared for a map. So just to conclude, day one, okay? Just run CT side and run a default on T. Then day two and day three, and you know maybe day four if you have it, just get three strats down, okay? And have three really, really good strats that you could run and just, just pound them out and, and do them constantly and get really, really good at them. Understand what the weaknesses are and the strengths are of those strats out of the default, all right? And make sure those strats are out of the default setup. Anyways, you guys probably hear my bar my dogs barking, and that's gonna conclude this video. Um, it's just a basic video, but hopefully you guys can understand something that I'm trying to get across, and that's you know how to get how to get your team prepared. Um, so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Dave from EchoSource.com.